Hello everybody, welcome back to Jared Opens a Box here on Jared Takes the L. It's a new week and that means we have another awesome episode of Jared Opens a Box today. Uh, as promised, this week we are finally going to be taking a look at some Funko Pops from San Diego Comic Con 2024. And honestly, pretty good selection of characters this time around. Uh, you know, usually the Comic Cons, they can be hit or miss. Last couple years they've been pretty, you know, pretty good. Um, and this year's really no... Uh, I lost the train of thought there. This year is no different. That's what I was trying to say. Um, this year is no different, especially with New York Comic Con. We have a video coming. Uh, I guess that will be next month for that one. Um, but yeah, we have three different pops from three different franchises here today. We have one from DC, we have one from Godzilla, and we have one from Pokemon. So we are going to go ahead and get started with the DC one. Um, this one is really, really cool. I like the idea behind it. It is a part of the Pop Heroes line. This is the Batman Superman Fusion Pop. Um, and apparently this character actually exists. This isn't just a Funko creation, uh, because I also did see... Uh, McFarlane Toys, who also uh, makes a lot of DC figures, has also made a figure of this one, so it must clearly exist uh, somewhere in the DC universe. Um, there is the San Diego Comic-Con sticker. Uh, it is, of course, green and yellow this year. Usually it tends to be around that. Sometimes, I think last year it was like purple and yellow or something. Um, there is the side of the box, uh, again, part of the Pop Heroes line. Back of the box, we have a really cool-looking Batman and Superman mishmash logo, which I think looks really, really cool. Um, and then the background, kind of just some of the comic strips, just like the Marvel boxes, um, usually uh, doing that as well. And there's the other side of the box. So let's go ahead and open this one up and see how it looks. Oh, this one does look really cool. All right, so here is the Batman Superman Fusion Pop. This one looks awesome. Of course, Batman's mask is red in this one, um, just completely red all over. I don't know why, I guess it does look really cool though. Uh, down here, we got a lot of stuff going on, so I'll try to show it all off. Obviously, in the middle of his chest, he does have that same logo that we saw on the back. Does not have a cape, um, but he does have the little, uh, little gauntlets here that Batman usually has. Um, and he has the utility belt as well, um, although with he usually, you know, he has the red and blue color scheme of Superman while having Batman's utility belt and, um, and I guess even the boots as well. Uh, and then, of course, he is flying, which is why they have this base right here to keep him standing up. Um, overall, this is really cool. I like that they did a fusion pop. Um, this ended up looking pretty well. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the, uh, the Impopsters. I think I mentioned them before uh, when I did the uh, the Batman Warzone pops where it was like the different uh, Batman characters pretending to be Batman. I, I kind of envisioned this one being like a Superman Impopster, um, even though it's probably not that at all. But this ended up coming out really, really nice. I think they did a great job uh, with the design on this one. So I think this is a great addition to the DC collection. I don't really collect too many DC pops because they don't really make too many. Uh, Marvel definitely kind of gets the favoritism, I feel like, from Funko. So whenever I get the chance to do DC stuff, uh, I, I definitely take it. Because, like I said, it's not, not very often uh, that we get to do it. So there is the Batman Superman Fusion pop. So our next one, like I said, is going to be from Godzilla. We have this one, who happens to just be Godzilla. Um, this one is actually part of the Pop Movies line. It's number 1,621. Um, and then there is, of course, the San Diego sticker. Uh, the side of the box, the back of the box, which also has the Godzilla logo and some of the classic Godzilla uh, movie posters in the back. Um... Also, on this side of the box, there actually is a 70 up here, because Godzilla is celebrating his 70th anniversary. And yes, they did, of course, make more pops for that. I haven't gotten any of them yet, so at this rate, probably won't be until early next year. Um, but it will be coming to the channel, so no need to worry there. We will get to it, um, but this is a little, little teaser, I guess, for that. Um, but yeah, this one is interesting, because I don't typically remember Godzilla ever really being green um and it kind of took a couple other people you know some people were trying to figure out what exactly this was supposed to be based on I did some research myself and um I guess he was 
kind of portrayed as green in some of his earlier appearances. Uh, they said for the most part, it kind of depends on the lighting of the movies. Um, so he kind of was. There were also some toys that were released back, back in the day that also depicted Godzilla as being more of a greenish color. So it might be based on like those older retro toys. I, I don't know. But nonetheless, this one did come out looking pretty cool. Um, they did texture all of the scales and stuff. So these are all completely textured, uh, which is really, really cool. The claws are also super sharp. Uh, teeth, not so much, but they are still there. Um, this ended up looking really, really cool. And they, of course, gave him the classic spikes, you know, going up the, the back and the tail. So that ended up looking really cool. It's not terribly different from some of the other Godzilla pops that we have seen in the past, but um, I still, I'm just a sucker for any sort of Godzilla merchandise. It used to be few and far between, but now we've had so much between Funko and U2s um, that I'm just, I'm just so glad whenever we get to do another one here. And this one ended up looking really nice, even if there is some confusion over why exactly Godzilla is green in the first place. Um, the overall design of the figure does look really cool. Even gave him a nose. He does have a little nose there. So this is good. This is a really fun one. Um, you know, just, just for the heck of it. <laughs> they really wanted to have that Godzilla pop for uh, San Diego Comic-Con. Although I would have loved to see another Godzilla character like uh, Rodan or uh, Hedora um, or even uh, Destroya. You know, some of those other ones that... That haven't gotten any but there will be a couple uh in the 70th anniversary wave that we haven't seen before so i guess i can't hate too much um all right so our last one today is actually <laughs> it's going to take me a second to grab here because it's a little bit bigger um we haven't uh, had one of these on the channel in a few months but this is another 10 inch pop if you guys remember back when we did the uh um what was it called the chicago uh, Comic and Entertainment Expo, I think is what it was called, uh, when they did that convention earlier this year. There was a 10-inch Cressilia pop from Pokemon. Uh, Funko decided to keep up the 10-inch Pokemon thing with the Comic-Cons this year, and they made Arceus. And I'll try to show the whole box here, but like I said, this is a, a very big one. This one makes a lot of sense, though, because Arceus is, of course, huge, um, you know, canonically, so it makes sense for him to be this big. Uh, he is part of the Pop Games line, uh, number 940. He does have the San Diego sticker here as well. Um, these were all available on the Funko Shop. They were also shared, I think. Or no, I think Arceus was actually the only one. Arceus was shared to GameStop. I think the other two that we saw were only on the Funko Shop. So they were kind of difficult to get a hold of. I actually got Batman Superman Fusion on a restock. Um, so I didn't even get those right away, but, um, let's go ahead and open this one up here. Oh, these things are so <laughs> difficult to open sometimes, but not nearly as bad as the statues. You guys remember when I did those FNAF statues? Oh, those were a pain. All right, give me a second. I don't want to break it. There we go. All right. Almost there. <laughs> there we go. So here, <laughs> geez, that was obnoxiously loud. Here is Arceus. This one is humongous. I mean, seriously, this is insane. <laughs> but this looks really, really cool. I think they actually nailed Arceus's design here. Um, I, it looks incredible. Even gave him the little uh, green dots that he has under his eyes. Of course, he doesn't really have a mouth, so they didn't really have to incorporate that, but they gave him this little yellow thing here and all the other details and designs there. He has this thing around his body. I don't know exactly what it is. Kind of looks like a star or something, um, but they were able to do a lot of details on that. Um, and of course, the, the feet, the legs, everything. Uh, and even the tail, incredibly textured and detailed. Um, overall, this is actually insanely good. I'm glad they did a 10-inch for Arceus. I don't think it would have really worked otherwise. Um, there are just certain Pokemon Pops that I feel only work uh, when they're given, you know, a, like a 10-inch Pop. Um, like there are some I would love to see down the line, like Darkrai or Giratina. And those ones would only really work as 10 inches um, because they are uh, typically... Um, much larger characters. So uh, Arceus ended up looking really, really cool. 
I am going to go ahead and give all of these a 10 out of 10. I think the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives for this year were absolutely outstanding. I think Funko did a great job. There were plenty of other ones out there that just, they weren't for me, but I know the San Diego, San Diego Comic-Con was fairly well received this year overall. Um, and New York Comic-Con, again, New York Comic-Con had some really good ones, too. I'm still kind of in the process of getting all of them, uh, but they will be, and actually, they'll probably, to be honest with you, will probably be the last video of Jared Opens a Box for the year. So uh, we will be seeing that one soon. But that has been the San Diego Comic-Con video. I'd love to see uh, which of these was your favorite. I'll go through them again one more time. Batman, Superman, Fusion. Uh, we had Godzilla, whatever this green one is. And we also, of course, had... Uh, Arceus. So let me know down below which is your favorite, although I have a feeling it'll probably end up being Arceus. Um, but hey, I could be wrong, you know. I think they're all equally as cool. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. When we come back next week, we're going to be celebrating yet another anniversary, as you can see back there. It's a pretty big video. There's going to be a lot of pops, so I expect it to be a lot longer than this one was. Um, but yeah, we're going to be taking a look at another anniversary, 25th anniversary, of one of my all-time favorite shows. So really looking forward to that one. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.